Hello, welcome to September 14th, 2023. My name is Kurt, and this is my daily good life meditation, an exercise that I do each and every morning, a little bit after waking up. It's now uh, 4.35 a.m. I do this to remember my life objectives and principles, those which are outlined in my book, Going Alone. I also use this time to think about the last 24 hours, including last night, to think about the challenges and opportunities that I met and how I handled them. I also plan for the coming day to ready myself for the challenges and opportunities that I can foresee and, very importantly, to prepare myself, steal myself for the uh, unexpected. I conclude by uh, checking if I'm ready for death. But before I do any of that, I'll read a poem sticking with uh, Edward Thomas. And we're going to simply reread the poem yesterday that uh, moved me so much. we go. This one is called The Manor Farm. Let's see if I can read it better than I did yesterday. The rock-like mud unfroze a little and rills ran and sparkled down each side of the road. Under the catkins wagging in the hedge, but earth would have her sleep out spite of the sun nor did I value that thin, gliding, gilt, thin, gilding beam. Let me try this again. I am I should look for the punctuation. There is a period there. Hmm. The rock-like the rock -like mud unfroze a little, and rills ran and sparkled down each side of the road under the catkins wagging in the hedge. But earth would not, would have her sleep out, spite of the sun. Nor did I value that thin, gilding beam more than a pretty February thing, till I came down to the old manor farm, and church and yew tree opposite, in age, its equal in age its equals and in size. The church and the yew and farmhouse slept in a Sunday silentness. The air raised not a straw. The steep farm roof, with tiles duskily growing, glowing, entertained the midday sun, and up and down the roof white pigeons nestled. There was no sound but one. Three cart horses were looking over a gate drowsily through their forelocks swishing their tails against a fly, a solitary fly. The winter's cheek hushed as if he had drained spring, summer, and autumn at a drop, and smiled quietly. But t'was not winter, rather a season of bliss unchangeable, awakened from farm and church where it had lain safe under tile and thatch for ages since this England old, old already, was called Mary. Gee! And now I get it. It's a, it's a, it's a tableau. It's a still life. Well, with horse, horses' tails of the uh, morning in February everything kind of frozen with sun just come up. But yet, not a season, not a winter, but a, what did he describe it? Rather, a season of bliss unchangeable. I've known those days. That's what I'm all about in these new, this new season of life coming up, this era of retirement, this pursuit of these moments. And, of course, the sharing of the good life, which is a creed that I use to live well. And I believe it could be helpful to others. That's why I make these videos. That's why I write. That's why I share. 
Let's do the creed. There are eight objectives and 34 principles. The objectives are the things I'm striving for. They are to be always ready to die, to make good and effective use of my time, to develop and maintain good and sound principles, to cultivate good emotional reactions, to perform good actions, to recognize true limits and true opportunities, to do just one thing at a time and do that thing slowly and deliberately and carefully, and to uh, maintain my balance at all times. Now, I found something to augment, to add to the principle of the objective of balance. You know, I like, I, I've got a picture of I had AI generated of a man walking on a tightrope, not even no bar, just walking on a tightrope in the clouds, maintaining balance through life. And then I found this passage, this quote from Dr. Johnson. I'm, I'm reading uh, Boswell's um, Presumptuous Task. Let's see if I can find it. It's just back here. I highlighted it in yellow. This is a quote from Johnson regarding Boswell's um, restless mind. Well, uh, Johnson says, and I believe it was, a, it was, it was, was it advised him in person or? Yeah, I think so. He said that to have management of one's mind was a great art and that it might be attained by, contained in a considerable degree by experience and habitual exercise over time. I believe that this sums up what I, a large part of what I want the principle, the objective of balance to be. He, Johnson, said that to have management of one's mind, he said that to have the management of one's mind was a great art and that it might be attained in a considerable degree by experience and habitual exercise. That's what I'm striving for, to be in control of my mind keep that balance at all times. I think I'm going to move the objective of balance in that direction. Like when I'm having a tough day. Like yesterday was a bit of a tough day and today might be a little bit of a tough day to control and regulate my thoughts and my actions accordingly. Keep balance. Be the master of my mind. All right, my 34 principles then are war, reason, homunculus, anchor hold. Oh, I just had an idea. So I'll add, I know what I'll do. I'll add that quote to going alone as a part of the, uh, just ahead of the principle of balance, or the objective of balance. There you go. I'll do that today, actually. Back with the 34. War, reason, homunculus, anchor hold, home of good and evil, purpose, atomic principle, Principle of nature, the pirate ride, maturity, social principle, principle of family, public speaking, distraction, agency, and the great indifference. No. Temperance. Life will not go well. The horror show. That which must be born. The Feast of Ophel, Distraction, Agency and the Great Indifference, The Best Seat in the House, The Restless Man, The Path of Wildness, The Great Life Adventure, The Risk of Avoiding Risk, Sin and Damnation, Complete Oblivion, The Season of Philosophy, Script Writing, The Bullseye Aim, The Uphill Climb, Arena and Utility, Nothing is Enough, and The Principle of Fun. There we go. Got a little mixed up there. But I kept my balance and stepped back a few steps and started again. Okay, as for today, it's a Thursday. I've got a good day of work ahead of me. I'm going to be uh, working on up today. I've got another new project that's kind of my focus, and I'll be sitting in on a, a, a 
testing meeting for that, which I'll do kind of this week is all been a week of observation. Next week will be a week of consolidating that into resolving that into some sort of action. I'll meet with um, my steering committee, so to speak, on my agency side on Monday, give them my advice about how I think I need to proceed and see if we can get their guidance. Uh, and then f go from there. But and then I'm going to use the r main focus of today and tomorrow, Friday, will be updating some training materials. I do some testing of a new uh, system that's been released. More details than I usually give about work, but I felt that was prudent to keep my balance. I'll write that out on my piece of paper as I begin. That's what I'm going to focus on. I'll have a nice walk in the uh, midday with my wife and our dogs. And I'll have another nice one in the evening. And then a swim, uh, after I finish my work, a swim in the ocean. Yesterday I did lose my balance a little bit. I think I can be forgiven for doing so. Uh, our white dog, Rudy, got something in his ear during our walk yesterday and was quite distressing. And I could feel myself, my anxiousness as I was trying to figure out, you know, hold him and try to figure out what was in his ear. It turned out there was nothing there. At least I couldn't find anything. <coughs> Excuse me. And I was contemplating an emergency trip to the vet in the evening. And I stopped for a second as Yumiko fed the dogs. And I calmed myself. I reconstituted my balance. I handled it better. That's where it happens. That's where my weakness is. Things just ambush me. Circumstance that I'm not expecting like that. And I kind of lose control just a little bit, or I get flustered and upset, just like my father used to do. I think I got on top of it yesterday better than I usually do, though. Mm -hmm. It's this sense of the weight and responsibility. I feel like, I feel like it just it all settles on my shoulders, and I need to remember to share that with my wife. She doesn't do that to me. She doesn't expect me to. Um, to solve all the problems. In fact, she's very good at solving problems. But I maybe I feel some sort of an obligation being a man. You know, the man of the house, so to speak, to solu to to solution act upon and address every problem in spite of my wife. Or <laughs> not in spite of her. I just feel like it's it's an old-fashioned perspective that I have. That's my job. And to some degree, that is true. That is how I, the role that I played as husband and father. I mean, to a degree, I, I, I stepped to the fore where my role and duty is. But Tricky wild line, isn't it? I mean, there's there's like emergency situations where you need to step to the floor to take care of stuff, and then there's more deliberate situations where uh, I need to conspire. I need to work in, in conspire in the best sense with my wife on solutions. In nearly all cases, most cases, it's the latter. I need to remember that. She'll let me run with it. It's, I don't know exactly where that comes from, but she will. Although I th I'm sure she would appreciate. Maybe that's part of our agreement, right? Perhaps. Interesting thoughts. Anyway, that was, yeah, yes, that was yesterday. Uh, so today I think I'm going to maintain my balance better. I'm planning out the day. I know what I'm going to be doing with regard to my work. I know what today will const what will constitute a successful day. If it would be great if I, I, between today and tomorrow I can get through that testing and updating of the documentation. That would be spot on. Hmm. 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 I can do it. Anything else? I think. Oh, death. Am I ready to die? Are my the three criteria, affairs in order, relationship sound, and life's work complete? Are my affairs in order? Absolutely. Is my, are my relationship sound? Yes. Is my life's work complete? Done and finished. I can uh, check out any moment without a single longing backwards glance. 
funny thing yesterday. I wanted to say I was talking about that. Yumiko and I had were having a lot of fun talking about our new lives that we'll live in Japan, assuming we live. You know, because we both have medical issues now. <laughs> um, uh, um, you know, another tumor found in me. It's a tumor-like thing, but I think I know what it is now. It may not be a tumor at all, but I'm getting a, a test next week to find out. Anyway. Um, and something scary for Yumiko too, but her initial doctor's opinion is that it's not bad. But she's getting a, she's getting a deeper look too. We're both doing exactly the same thing. So um, we were walking yesterday and talking about our 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 lives after retirement in Japan. And Yumiko's, we we're, we want to do things. We want to have fun and we want to make money uh, doing social media and online. Yumiko's making an, an online store to sell her shirt designs and she's doing a bang up job. She's just kicking butt. You know, I really need to do something to get her a gift or something like that to, to celebrate that. She's doing so good. A t-shirt? No, just kidding. Um, and I was telling her about the online store that I want to make too. I was telling her about Spring, which is associated with YouTube. And I said I could have a Spring store. And you know, do shirts and merchandise and stuff like that. I said, I said, but I said, I told her, but I don't think the stuff that I talk about is very merchandisable. And she's so funny the way she said. She said, Kurt, she said, she said, I said, I said, I said, I probably, you know, it's probably not. No one's going to want to buy a T-shirt talks of talking about death. And she said, and she said, and this made me laugh. She said, and no stoic nonsense, and nothing about Dr. Jones. <laughs> Dr. Jones, <laughs> Dr. Johnson, <laughs> she made me laugh. Okay, let's finish. Uh, with that, my life is done, if not finished. I wish you all the best. Be safe, but not too safe. Bye-bye.